Hi, my name is Seth, and uh, I'm a werewolf. Hi, Hi Seth. Seth. Well, next week's the full moon. Hoping not to kill anybody. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still looking for that job. Might have to kill somebody for that. Gotta do what you gotta do, buddy. Hi, my name is Gary. I am an invisible man. Hi, Hi Nicodemus. Nicodemus. What are you people out of hearing? I'm Nick. Hi, Nicodemus. Oh, and Gary. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to be anywhere, really. Well, nowadays, just a week ago, I was a wreck. <laughs> it's, it's funny, really. It's, it's like I always say, you gotta try everything once, even being a wreck. Anyway, I wanted desperately to become visible again. <laughs> Silly me. But I met this really great guy. He showed me things that... Well, he showed me things, and, and he made me realize I don't need to be seen to be happy. I just need... That's quite enough, thank you. I'm Nick. I'm also invisible. Why did you end up Gary? It's okay. I'm happy. Isn't that nice? Being with friends makes me happy. If you'd like to be my friend, just talk to me after the meeting. I'm winking. Are you guys gonna have a key party or something? Count me in. I'm really excited. I've got that big date coming up with Lizzie, who's right there. Hi. What are you hiding your face for? Come on, you're not that ugly. Anyway, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be me and you and steaks. Can it get any better? I submit to you that it cannot. Anyway, this girl is really special, you know? She doesn't even care that I'm a vampire. Hey kids, do you have problems with vampires, demons, and all forces of darkness? What? Exactly, you don't know, do you? Because there's someone out there making sure those pesky vampires, demons, and all forces of darkness aren't bothering you and all your family. Thanks. You're welcome. And you're also welcome to call this number if you have any excessive undealt with vampire issues. Okay. I'm not allowed to use the phone. Chosen by 9 out of 10 important people as the best vampire remover in the business. The 10th important person is dead. Curse you, Lizzie Winters. Lizzie Winters, vampire remover. She knows a sucker when she sees one. Ah, oh, son of a... I was really looking forward to that date. It was going to be me, her, and stakes. Now I find out that the stakes were high, made of wood, and pointed at my heart. It's really kind of poetic. You're a poet, and you weren't even aware of that. And I haven't had a decent meal in weeks. You know what? We can still go to that steakhouse. What are you talking about? You know, but... But you're going to drink her, aren't you? Only a little. That's how I roll. You gotta save some for later. You're unbelievable! You better believe it. Hi. Seth, right? The dog man. Yeah, I was uh, kind of in the middle of something. Can I, uh... Cool! Can I join? I, uh, uh... Oh, hi, Gary. Didn't see you. Come in. I am so happy to be here, you guys. Oh, it's gonna be great. We got Pop-Tarts and marshmallows and stuff. Hey, Gary. We'll, we'll be in my lab. I bet you they're kissing. You know, there's a lot more crazy stuff they can do in a lab. Like what? Probing. Ooh, that sounds kinky. I should probably get my camera. Yeah, invisible man porn really doesn't sound all that sexy. Oh, right, because they're dudes. Yeah, and? Because they don't show up on camera. Which is probably a good thing. Because they're dudes. You know what? I think you're homophobic. What are you, my psychologist? You have a psychologist? I had a psychologist. Once. For lunch. You're unbelievable! Seth, you need help. You've got mental problems. Hey, sis. Welcome to my humble abode. Have a seat, a nice warm cup of coffee, but before you start making accusations about my mental stability!
Uh, yeah, you can, uh, sit right here. No, I'm serious. You need professional help. You have to see a psychologist. Hey, I know where we can get one of those. No. And what brought all this about? Well, let's see. You peed on my couch, you chased my cat away, and you sniffed my neighbors in unpleasant places. What, in the back of a Volkswagen? <clears throat> they wore very enticing perfumes. Oh, in the boondocks. There's no explanation for these irrational outbursts, Seth. Yeah, there is. Shut up, Bob. No, let him finish. Yeah, he's a he's a werewolf. What? Yeah, he's a werewolf. I'm a vampire, and Nick's an invisible man. Who? Nick, he lives here too. Maybe you'll see him later. Not unless he finds a cure. Whoa, slow down. What? Seth. Oh, me. <laughs> Nick. Invisible. You're both crazy. Well, I can prove we're monsters. Seth has fleas. I don't have fleas, but... Yeah, I'm a werewolf. Huh? Come on. You're goth. You should be into this stuff. Look, this is hot. Look, I'm into the whole vampire thing. But have you heard of something called style? You know, like Dracula? Ugh, that's low. No, no. She has a point. I think you made him cry. You did not! So, werewolves, huh? Yeah, I was gonna tell you, but I was afraid I'd sound a little crazy. So you peed on my couch instead? Perfectly sane. You seem logical at the time. Hey, have you seen my probes? Who said that? I did. I'll show them. I'll show them I can have style. Hey kids, do you want to be on TV? Yeah! Well, you're not old enough. Aww. I'm 12! Well, if you're over 18 and want to be in a commercial, you can enter Brimstone Pictures' once-in-a-lifetime annual contest appropriately titled Commercial Contest. Just send an audition tape displaying your various skills and or acting talents to the following address. I don't read that. Your videos will be judged by the best in the business. What business? We don't know. But they must be good, otherwise they wouldn't be judging this contest. Just look at this judge. I am fair. This contest could be the first step towards becoming the world's biggest movie star. Yay, Bob's Hope! Christopher Walken doesn't do commercials. Did you get one commercial for... Send in your tape to Brimstone Pictures today. Because we're kind of running out. Preferably mini TV, because that's what our cameras use. Void were prohibited the chance of winning or microscopical. Quite frankly, you'd be better off not entering. New videos will not be accepted, but are greatly appreciated unless it's dudes or cocker spaniels. Hey, are we already on TV? So, then I told him it was my cat. <laughs> You're unbelievable. I'm gonna go get the mail. I've come for- ah, You killed him! No, I, I don't know. I, I may have broken my tibia, but- Where are my manners? I'm the wacky neighbor. Oh, are you going to a costume party or something? No, I'm dead. Oh. But I'm looking for a new job. In fact, I just saw a sweet commercial about commercials. It's a contest. You can, like, win a roll. Make money. Pretty sweet. Seth, you should enter. Um, Tibia. You were great in the school plays, remember? You played Captain Hook's attorney, and you got him off? I never told you about, uh, yeah, in the play. Sounds kinky. And who are you? Oh, this is my sister, Bethany. Oh, Beth. Beth and Beth. We're like rag buddies. Don't call me Beth. Okay, Betty. Suit yourself. I'm easy. So, Bob? He's in his room, crying. So what'd you need him for? I'm gonna borrow his camera for an audition tape. That's kinky. So much pain. Did you stub your toe in the doorway again? I've caused so much pain. You should watch where you're going. I've killed people. I know. The commissions alone bought my new car. By the way, thanks. Can I ask you for another favor? Anything to atone for my horrible past. Can I borrow your camera? Is That's it? You want to borrow my camera? And some tape, too, if you've got it. 
Sure, I'll go get it. Anything for my friends, whom I don't deserve. You've been there for me, fellas, through the hard times. Hey, when you're through a speech of buying, uh, can I borrow your camera too? Hey, I go, dibs. I'm in after you. Maybe you should go first, because if I go first, you might steal my moves and improve them. Then I'd look bad. And you're the one who needs to look bad, because I'm the one who's going to win. Oh, you think you're going to win, huh? You know who you're talking to? Captain Oak's attorney. He made our teacher cry. Of course, she was going through a divorce at the time, but still counts. Have you seen the seventh seal? Well, that wasn't me. But I liked it. A bit handy, but such were the times. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how I'm going to win. How are you going to win? I'm going to act your socks off. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to be subtle. Layers upon layers of nuance and acting talent. Well, I'm going to do impressions. Oh, yeah? Of who? It's of whom. Yeah, of who? I do a mean Julius Caesar. Nobody knows what he sounded like. I do. I met him. You know what his last words were? Ed to Brute? Actually, funny story. That's a common misconception. His last words were actually, Ow, that's a knife, Brutus. He spoke English? Well, I'm translating, obviously. Uh, so that was your impression? Oh, is he doing his impressions? He does a mean Gandhi. Actually, I want Seth to go first. I need time to prepare. I don't want Seth stealing my goods. So no spying on my rehearsal. I'm gonna go fix my hair. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, I don't suck. We don't have any mirrors! Why would we? They don't work. You're unbelievable. Boy, am I sore! Do you have any ice cream? Was that Nick? It didn't sound like Nick. I'm Nick's very special friend. We experiment. Tell him I said hi. Okay, pretty lady. Can I have some ice cream? Anything to atone for my horrible past. Is that a yes? It's in the freezer. So, uh, you must be tired after all that standing you've been doing. Would you like to take a seat on the couch? Okay. I was talking to Bethany. Can I join? Where are you going to go get ice cream? Oh, right. I remember everyone. Every single one. Who? My victims. I've hurt so many people. And then I hurt the wrong girl. A Romany. A Roman? You lived in Rome? Sure, whatever. And then the Pope cursed me with the worst curse imaginable. He gave me a soul. Hey, I think I've got one of those. I feel okay. You didn't spend hundreds of years without one. Doing horrible things. Horrible, dark, sticky things. Hunting, maiming, drinking. I've had a few drinks before. Drinking blood, Bethany. Drinking blood. Oh yeah, gotcha. And now I feel nothing but pain and anguish over all the... pain and anguish that I've caused. Well, that makes sense. I torture myself to atone for my horrible past. Want to see? Uh... It's like those WWJD bracelets. Except it works. Oh, that's so cute. If I had a visible wrist, I'd do that too. It's gonna catch on. Gary, I need you. Uh, Bethany, would you like to assist us? Would I ever? Anything to get away from his horrible past. That's a lovely cologne you're wearing. Ow. That's a knife, Brutus. So tell me, do I look okay? Yeah, sure, whatever. Great. What's that on your arm? Hmm? Oh, uh, it's just some crosses. But doesn't that hurt? No, no, uh, we can get it wrong. Oh, okay. I'm gonna set up! Uh... Yeah, that looks low. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome. My client, Captain James Hook, Esquire, has done much for society and the development of the inner city youth of Never Never Land. What? 
Hamlet, armed, say you? Marcellus Bernardo, armed, my lord? Hamlet, from top to toe? Marcellus Bernardo, my lord, from head to foot? Hamlet, then saw you not his face? Horatio, oh yes, my lord, he wore his beaver up. Captain Hook has done much to help and encourage children to grow up and mature. And keep in mind that Peter Pan is not underage, but is in fact suffering from a congenial growth hormone condition that gives him the physical outward appearance, voice, and look of a young pre-adolescent boy, when he is in fact a grown-up adult man. I always thought there was something fishy about him. I mean, how does he afford all those tights? The Lost Boys. I love that movie. The Lost Boys, a street gang led by none other than Mr. Pan himself, known for their delinquent behavior and random acts of violence as well as theft. Most of them are just children. My client, Captain James Hook, Esquire, is trying to take these kids off the street and put them into the real world. Mr. Pan is a menace to society and a danger to these kids. Oh my god, he's a pedophile, isn't he? I mean, think about it. He's a grown-up adult man hanging out with young inner-city youths in his treehouse in Neverland. And, and, and Mr. Pan has on several occasions assaulted my client more than once in various ways, including but not limited to feeding him orally to a reptilian alligator crocodile. My God, is he dead? As well as... I've always wanted to be an actor, and I'm willing to do anything to be an actor. I have a scythe, you know. I'd hate to have to kill you. Vote death. In my closing statements, I'd like to say... Hey kids, do you remember that contest? The one we got to enter? It was a contest? Yeah, that one. What about, what about it? it? You still can't enter it, because it's over. Whatever. I'm 13 now. After a hard grueling selection process, we here at Brimstone Pictures have picked the one who showed the most range, talent, uniqueness, charisma, general cleanliness, and style. I'm so excited. Who's it gonna be? The suspense is killing me. And the winner is... in this envelope. Which I will open soon. And then I will take out the paper and read it. And then you'll find out who the winner is because of the paper. And the winner will now be revealed by our announcer. The winner is Seth Kessler. The defense rests. Hey, I think I won. It said Seth. Yeah, but look at that gorgeous mug. That's me. I'd recognize me anywhere. Even though I don't have a reflection. You didn't even enter the contest! Well, imagine how well it would have went if I'd actually entered the contest. I would have won twice! It said Seth! That was my video! Well, it was my camera. I was Captain Oak's attorney! And I was myself. So what have we learned? Always be me. You may touch my body. Break my bones. Even kill me. Then you will have my dead body. Not my congratulations. What'd I tell you? Ming Gandhi. You know, I'm really not surprised, Bob. Yeah, he's good at impressions. No, I mean, I'm not surprised you won. Me either. I'm awesome. No, I mean, it's like things always seem to work out for you. Your luck is... you're unbelievable. Bob, I just saw you on TV. You were awesome. I knew you'd win. He didn't even enter the contest. And how come I burst in the door every time I say you're unbelievable? I forgot my scythe. See? Seth, you need help. Also, I haven't been able to storm out all week. Huh. I don't think I'm going to take the gig. Why not? I have a mission. I help the helpless. Here's my card. 
What is this? A lobster? Yeah, yeah. I got it from a seafood restaurant. I wrote my number on the back. You should give it to Ringy Dingy sometime. I think you should do the commercial. If nothing else, it can help you get publicity for your mission in a roundabout way. Plus, acting hot. Okay, I'll do it. For you, my love. What the hell was that? What did you eat? Well, I had some eggs for breakfast, a tuna salad for lunch, some pizza, and oh my god, garlic bread. I'm so sorry. You should be. What can I do to make it up to you? You can leave. <laughs> well, that was something. I've learned this week that life is wonderful, even when you eat moldy ice cream. No, especially when you eat moldy ice cream. It's a learning experience. And got high as a house. Well, I've learned that apparently it's good to always be Bob. Word. As I've always said, I'm awesome. I've got a new job, a new mission, and a new girlfriend. Sort of. I mean, she almost killed me, but that tends to happen on first dates. And I've learned that I hate Bob. What happened to you, man? You used to be so cool. Wait a minute. He's got connections now. Uh, so what? Uh, you wanna hang out? I've learned never to use the 12-inch probe. Also, I've learned a new way to make money, which is good. So, yeah. He's awesome. Hmm. Aquam Benedictum. You're unbelievable. Hey, Sam, is Nick here? Hey, uh, thought you might want to know that the uh, number on our door fell off. What is that? Oh, it's my cell phone. Hello. You're unbelievable! My arm's wet. <laughs>